Hey, how's it going, boys? Today I am playing with the Inferno Dragon in my Lava Miner deck. We are going to be testing to see if this Inferno Dragon is really back or not. I think the Inferno Dragon has the potential to get so much value on defense and offense. Gonna be really fun to use here today. So, I mean, let's test them out. I mean, the only real downside it seems to have is it's not as good against Swarm as the Phoenix, but it has the potential to just shred Mega Knights, Golems, Giants, all that lovely stuff. So, yeah, let's see how he does. Um, Ram Rider. Ram Rider. Ram Rider. Very interesting. Let's see what this guy is running. Pekka Ram Rider. So it looks like it could be the um, Pekka Baby Dragon E-Wiz Snowball Ram Rider deck uh, that we typically see. Um, actually, we don't typically see. It's, it's, it's an off-meta Pekka deck. You see it every once in a while, but it's definitely a deck. Let's see. E-Wiz is coming in here. Interesting. So I'm going to think about a Lava here. I'm actually not quite sure if I want to go lava yet. Let's let's add. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. So I was gonna go lava if he just left that Pekka alone, but instead he's gonna go in for a huge push. This is this is definitely interesting. We're gonna go with the miner back there. The play with the miner was to try and get the flying machine to finish off the Ewiz before the Dark Prince, so that now we can get a little bit of a counter push going, and we either um, yeah we we either get some good damage or force out a card. So. We're gonna go Skelly Dragons on this Ram Rider here. We should be able to full wrap up the Ram Rider and then get some nice damage with these drags. Um, the Skeleton Dragons, I hate the Skeleton Dragons. They don't do anything half the time, but I mean, there's really nothing else we can use in place of the Skelly Drag. So I have to go ahead and use the bum ass Skeleton Dragons. Okay, so I'm thinking about a Lava in the back here. I probably wait to see what he's gonna do as far as like, yeah, okay, so as far as um, placing troops in the back, going at the bridge, just wanted to see what he was going to do. Before I went with my lava, he goes peck in the back, which I think is a really bad play for him. That's kind of just like a, a waste of elixir, I feel like, because we'll be able to wrap up the P.E.K.K.A. What we're going to do is Skelly Drags in front of the Inferno Dragon, and then we're going to go with the Miner here. That was the play, because I wanted to see if he was going to go E-Wiz. Um, so if he went E-Wiz, we would have blocked, and the Inferno Dragon would have... Uh, killed the whole P.E.K.K.A. We're actually going to take out everything here with the arrows. Talk about that flying machine value. He ain't wrapping that up. Nope. Nope. We just went with the standard miner and take out the magic archer. And he decides to go ahead and, and put an E-Wiz on top of that. So, I mean, wow. I was expecting a more tough opponent, I guess, for the first game. But, I mean, we just steamrolled him. I mean, might as well. I mean, the Inferno Dragon, hey, it did his part. Very good against P.E.K.K.A. So... Good job for the Inferno Dragon. Game number two versus my boy, what is it? Iganamius? Iganamius Griswold up here. Game number two. So he's going to go with the Ice Spirit Miner first, but I'm going to go with my own Miner and then just leave his Miner, I believe. He's going to go Knight. Okay, so this looks like Mortar Poison. I'm actually not sure. I think it looks like Mortar Poison. We'll have to see because I'm not exactly sure what this deck is yet. Um, it looks like Mortar Poison, Knight, Miner, Ice Spirit... Mm, log. I mean, it feels like mortar. Feels definitely feels like mortar. So let's see. Um, waiting for him to make a. Go Ooh, wait. Cannon. That's definitely not mortar. What? What is he playing? I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna go with the lava here because we got a fully charged Skelly King. I've got my uh, Inferno Dragon in case I needed to do defense on the left lane. He didn't pressure us, which is very interesting. He looks like he's gonna try and save all his elixir for defense. Um, he's got the archers. Typical. Everybody. Tom, Dick, and Harry are using the archers because they're broken, and like a bunch of people are like, oh my god, broken card! I suck at this game, so I'm gonna use a broken card and try and get a finish, and they fail to get a finish, or some do get a finish because of how boosted their deck is, but yeah, archers are everywhere, so it's very nice that we have arrows, um, which is actually not nice because now fireball bait is everywhere with Mother Witch, Zappies, uh, Flying Machines, so yeah, we're actually going to get a big connection here. And he does have to Ice Spirit to reset our flying machine. But the damage has been done, ladies and gentlemen. The damage has been done. We have taken him. Oh my goodness. Flying. Talk about the flying machine value. How much did he just spend to try and stop the flying machine? Yeah, the Ice Wiz, the, the, the Goblin. Or, sorry, the Ice Spirit, Goblins, Archers. That's a lot. That's a lot. So not only are we up 1,600 damage, we're also up in a significant portion of Elixir. That's very nice. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, against control decks, or I probably call this a cycle deck, not a control deck. Very, very good to be up this amount of damage in single. Um, if you have an opportunity where you can't be punished to go in, definitely go in. That's what I got to say. Definitely go in. So he's looking like 
I don't really know what he's doing. He's got... Uh, the, what? Okay, okay. I don't really know why he's going in with the Night Goblins push. Um, this is kind of... <laughs> Again, like the last match, we're just stomping and we're going to go split lane here using our defense um, from the left lane to turn into... Oh my god, look at the Inferno Dragon. We're using the defense from the left lane, turning it into offense. Pretty simple. It's very nice to beat up on these Archer decks. Um, sometimes they're going to have Phoenix, which makes the Inferno Dragon and Flying Machine even more valuable. But yeah, I mean, the Archer's such a good job against it or the arrows such a good job against the archers all right we've got oh my god i'm not reading that why does he have a whole paragraph in his name dude that's okay he's angry emojiing us i don't really know why i don't know who you are but i mean whatever we'll just go minor in the back for his bandit um all right, so Battle Ram. Looks like Pekka Bridge spam. This looks like the classic Pekka Bridge spam. It could be poison. It could be Fireball. We don't know yet. It's too early to tell. It's going to go zap right off the bat. I just went with the lava because I, I don't really care. I, I mean, I know he has the ability to zap that. I don't really care because we took a thousand damage from a Battle Ram. Dude, look. It's a six for three trade. We have a plus three. And, oh, wait. Actually, we're going to go Skelly King over here. So, like, like, yeah, it's a plus three trade. Since he has minions, we could just go ahead and arrows the minions if he uses that. Um, but, yeah, it's a plus three trade. So, might as well just ignore it. Um, especially since it's only getting a thousand damage. So, yeah, we're going to go Miner. And we're going to go Flying Machine here. And we should be able to take pretty much this whole tower we're gonna take some minions damage but you gotta think to yourself was it worth it to sack the minions for the left the entirety of the left tower i think it was and oh i spoke too soon we didn't actually take the entire left tower but we got him down to 670 and he's already dropping the good game so i mean this is looking pretty nice to me um the, the royal ghost coming down i'm just gonna drop a tombstone on that i don't care too much about him going with the battle ram right now because i do have my skelly dragons and um the ability to just go lava opposite lane depending on how he pushes if he was to just go solo battle ram like i would go with the with the skelly dragons on that especially since he doesn't have fireball uh, i went inferno dragon on my cheaper lane as like kind of an insurance card i want to make sure we're playing a card to to help us not lose that entire tower before i go in with the lava and skelly king here uh, we're going to take a battle ram charge but um that's fine because the skelly king is going to wrap up these barbs we're going to drags real quick not use the arrows yet uh, we might try and save the arrows for a second set of minions we're going to flying machine in just a sec actually hold on yeah we're going to wait just a second flying machine now um, I kind of wanted to, to wait to see what the best card to play would be, but I like the flying machine here because what this is going to do is defense into offense. That's such a good value if you can if you can do it. If you can turn defense into offense, make a counter push, this is going to be such a good situation for you to be in. As you can see, the flying machine, we're going to use arrows here just to make sure we can keep try and keep this tombstone alive. Um, we do keep the tombstone alive. If you can keep tombstones alive versus Pekka bridge spam or any bridge spam deck, it is so good. Uh, we're also going to go king in the pocket here. But yeah, defense and offense, such a great play because um, it gets the most value out of your cards. And we're going to deal some big damage on the right lane. The right lane is, is, oh, the Larrys almost took it out. I thought they were going to take it out. They did not, but the arrows will just wrap it up. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go, boys. I'm very happy with that dub. I'm happy with that dub. I think we played really well and just steamrolled that guy. LDC Thiago. I love when they put their semi-pro esports clan in their name trying to be someone special. Like, that's crazy to me, bro. Like, you're never going to catch me with no clan name in my in my name, bro. That's crazy. But anyways, maybe he's maybe he's actually a really good pro player. He's like top 10 in a while. I have no idea. Let's just stomp him anyways. I have no idea if this guy's actually good or not. But half the guys that put clan names in their names are just complete trash. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, he's got the monk and the fisherman. It's, uh, it's going to be pretty easy to guess what this guy's playing. I'm just going to tell you right now. Pretty, pretty easy. Um, Royal Giant? Royal Giant? Yeah, I'm... Like 500% sure this is Royal Giant. So, um, uh, wow, this is taking a lot longer than I thought to deal with this monk. So I was gonna go lava in the back, but not anymore because we got to deal with this 
Royal Giant push, and this is just awful. But hey, the Skelly Drags finally wrap up the Zappies, which is really surprising considering they just sit there and, and like, have severe mental attacks every time they see, like, Zappies or Skeletons. It's very nice that we actually took them out, and we're down 1,500 damage, which is a, a lot, but, I mean, it could be a lot worse. I feel like it could be a lot worse. We're going to go with the King here. He's going to wrap up the Goblins and the Fisherman, getting some good value there, and he's going to go in on the Counter Push. So we force that Zappy. Ooh, I wasn't expecting Zappies, actually. We're going to pop this ability, and Phoenix. Ooh, I didn't know he had the Phoenix, but... Skelly King is going to get some nice damage. Cut this damage lead down to 400. Let's go. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, to clear my throat for a second. I'm kind of thinking, honestly, I have to keep track of his zappies. That's my goal. He's played, he needs two more cards to get back to his zappies. We're actually going to take the damage lead there. I'm trying to keep track of his zappies so that I can make sure that I'm getting the most Inferno Dragon value. Tombstone, I'm not quite sure why he's going in with the Monk and the Goblins. I'm going to go Arrows here because I don't think he's going to use the ability. Yep, very nice, very nice. Um, yeah, the Inferno Dragon, and we're going to use Skelly King to tank for Zappies. Let's go. Okay, I'm trying to... Ugh. I'm trying to think. He didn't use Zappies there, so now we get, we kind of got to... We, we got to take out these Zappies, or at least try to take out his counter push because if he slaps a royal giant in front of this we are not going to have a fun time arrows are coming in before he can use the ability let's go let's go let's go tombstone coming in he does use the ability but it is late let's go let's go let's go all right so we're going to wrap up the monk we are going to wrap up the zappies and we got a fully charged skelly king clogging up this right lane very nice gonna go minor and flying machine as fast as i can try and get some good damage Ooh, we're gonna force out a fireball and get a nice flying machine hit i like that i like that Ooh, the skeletons are actually going to deal some damage to those zappies. Get them low. Zappies are such a pain in the ass to deal with, so it's very nice. Arrows quickly, so we can't use the monk ability. And we are going to use a skelly king in just a second. Try and get this zappy out of here. And we do splendid. I mean, we are going to take some big royal giant damage here. But we've got room to work with, especially since that tower was the higher HP tower. We're going to put the flying machine in the left lane. Sadly, it looks like it's about to die here pretty soon. We're going to go minor and with the drags. He does use zappies on the minor, so this is interesting. We're going to get some good... Oh, 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 I didn't even notice the right lane. I didn't notice the right lane, bro. I was just trying to get damage on the left lane. I didn't notice the right. Well, hey, GG's. That was a good dub. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll be back tomorrow for some nice pushing.